All right, guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with another crypto video. And today I'm just doing a follow up on my previous VEN swapping to VET. All right, so before we get into this, obviously this is not financial advice, and this should be construed for education, entertainment, and research purposes only. All right, so uh, either late last month or early this month, I did a video about swapping your VEN token for the VET token, and you're going to have to use the um, VeChain uh, Thor wallet, so you're going to have to download that, so make sure you do that. We're going to go through the process here in just a minute. Um, but there's another caveat as well. So now if you still have your VEN tokens on the ERC20 network, so let's say it's sitting um, on your MyEther wallet, if you go to MyEther wallet and add a new token, there is no VEN token. It's been changed to VET. So it's a little confusing, but trust me, I've just gone through this the past two days, which is why I'm doing this video. And so I'm just going to basically walk you through what my experience has been and help you guys get through it because uh, if you still have VEN or VE, if you still have VEN tokens on an exchange that were not swapped, or if you have VET tokens that are sitting on a wallet address that have not yet been swapped, this is what you're going to do to swap them over and get them exchanged for the actual VET tokens in the wallet itself. Okay, so the document I'm using is the PDF document that was linked in my original video. Obviously, I'll put a link to the document in this description as well, and we're just going to walk through this. I'm just going to scroll down quickly and get to where we need to be. All right, I'll walk you through as we scroll down because there is some, there's some terminology here. Again, VEN is the original ERC-20 token, but again, the VET tokens sitting on the ERC-20 network have been changed to VET. Um, binding is the process of basically binding the app to your existing address in an ERC-20 wallet. Prefer well, I used my Ether wallet. And then the intermediate address is an intermediate address that the app is going to generate for you that you're going to send your tokens to, your, your VET tokens from your, MR, from your ERC-20 wallet. You're going to send it to this intermediary address. And then the folks at VET are going to change them by hand. So we're going to skip this whole part about X node holders. That's not what we're after. We are non X uh, hold. We are non um, non X hold uh, non X node holders. And so basically, here's the first steps for the instructions. Okay, so you're going to download the VeChain Thor mobile wallet application on your Android. I'm assuming they have iOS. I don't have an iOS phone, so I'm assuming there is. You're going to in there. You're going to create a new VeChain Thor wallet, and you can create multiple wallets in there. You're then going to transfer your ERC-20 VET tokens to an approved exchange, and the exchange will swap them. So that's if you're if that's if they were on an exchange, right? And um, that was done for you. So I was I was in a situation where I had an, I had some VEN on an exchange, and I had some VEN in my Exodus wallet. So Exodus Wallet does not support the transition, okay? So you have to get the VEN out of your Exodus Wallet or onto um, an ERC-20 um, wallet. And again, if, it's, if they're living on the ERC-20 network, they're going to have been changed to VET on that network as well. So it's a little bit confusing. So it shows here, this is a short list of some of the... Um, exchanges that did support the exchange or the swap. I actually use CoinSpot, so I had some on there. So those have now all been changed over for me automatically. But the process that I'm going to go through today is if you, again, if you still have them sitting on an exchange that was not partaking in the swap, or if they're sitting in a um, Exodus wallet, or if they're sitting in a um, an ARC20 wallet. Okay, so again, we are a non-Xnode um, holder. And so we're going to jump down here to the VET token swap via VeChain Thor wallet page 21. Now just quickly, when you do create your wallet, download your wallet and create the first wallet, you're going to have to do all the normal things. You're going to have to give it a name, give it a password. They're going to give you a mnemonic phrase. You have to um, type those. Uh, or not type them, but write them down somewhere, and then they're going to ask you what they are again to, for you to confirm back to the address or back to the wallet that you know what the mnemonic phrase is, and then basically that gets destroyed. So if you did not write them down, you're not going to be able to recover the wallet should you ever lose your phone. So it's important to make sure that you write those down. This is just a quick screenshot showing this is what the wallet looks like when you're at that point. So you click create a wallet, you're going to give the thing a name, and then you're going to go in here and give it a password. 
You're going to write down your mnemonic phrase. Uh, for security reasons, do not take a screenshot photo or other digital copy of this phrase because think about it, guys. It's a no-brainer. If you have a wallet on the phone, you don't want the, the, the password stored on the, um, on, the, on the phone itself. All right, so I'm just going to show you. Um, this is a screenshot from the Xnodes area, but but it's because in the in the next section they don't really have a good screenshot. So once you've opened the once you've done everything and, and the app is open, you're going to see an option down here which says Rewards. Okay, I think it's I think it's this one. It looks like um kind of looks like a medal um, that's been you know that hangs off of a general's chest or something. Um, so it's got a like, bar with a circle underneath it. So again, you're going to click on the Rewards. And that's going to bring you to this uh, area here in the app. And it basically, it's telling you that you're going to get one, uh, 100 VET for every one VEN. And it basically walks you through the process. So it says you're going to go from your Ethereum wallet. You're going to send it to your intermediary address. The VeChain people are going to actually do the swap. And it's done by hand. And then the, they're going to switch it over. And you're going to see the VET tokens now in your wallet after a period of time, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So they're saying click me, uh, click the VET token swap surface, uh, service to start the token swap, and then confirm the token swap service agreement, click uh, start. And then basically what happens is you select the, um, uh, the wallet. So again, this is the Xnode section. What it's going to do is it's going to generate an intermediary address for you. So you're going to see your original sender address that you put into the app, which is where your original Ethereum address is. And then it's going to generate a, um, an intermediary address, which is your receiver address. And then basically, I've been working from laptop to phone. So you can, you can click a button right here, which allows you to email the intermediary address to whatever email that you want. So you click on that, prompts you to put in an email address, and then you can obviously send it to yourself. And in this instance, I could send it back to my laptop where I could actually grab and copy that address and put it into my, excuse me, into my, uh, my Ether wallet um, send, uh, send area. Now here's where I, I guess I didn't quite understand exactly how this worked because you, you get all these reminders as you're going through this process to only send 0 .01, 0 .01, 0 .01. And they're doing that because they want you to test the whole process to make sure that your tokens actually end up in your wallet. And I also just want to talk about the timing, okay? So basically at about 10.30 a.m. yesterday morning, I went through this process. I already had the wallet downloaded when I did the previous video. Um, but up, it wasn't until August 10th that the ability to actually do the swap service uh, for the non-X node holders was made available in the app. And I've just been a lazy ass and didn't get around to doing it until yesterday. And I've had several people on my channel asking me questions, can I still do this, can I still do this? And I was like, well, I guess I better go check because I haven't done it yet. So I did this yesterday. Yesterday was August 28th, and I completed the, trans, um, the, the swap today, which was August 29th. So again, let me walk you through it. So at 10.30 on the 28th of August, I sent one-tenth or point zero one of a VET token. Once again, it's already changed to VET in the ERC-20 wallet, in my Ether wallet. So I sent a tenth of that <clears throat> to the intermediary address. Now I could que clearly see that the transaction was correct and that it had been picked up and had been um, basically, you know, you can read the, the, t the text um, transaction, the TX transaction, and it says, you know, you're, basically your transaction has hit the network and is waiting to be mined. <clears throat> now in the app itself, in the app, once you've done this process, it basically brings you to this window. So again, you can see this. And then you can go back into this app. And what it doesn't show you is below this, it's going to show you a um, kind of a progress bar. Not a progress bar, but a, but basically a progress an, an, you know, um, report or, or a field that shows you what's happening. It took over an hour, over 60 minutes, before the one-tenth or .01 VET token actually hit the wallet. Okay, so an hour, and and the and there's a little button in the bottom of the um, little app here which says wait 10 minutes. And once you click on that, it basically forces you to wait 30 seconds before you can click on the the you know view process or view um, yeah view process button again. And then it says little window pops up and says no no nothing has happened yet. And then you close that, and you have 30 seconds to wait again, and you click again, and it pops up. So I did that. You know, as you do when you first send something like this over the first five minutes or so, and I was doing it every 30 seconds and nothing, nothing, nothing. 
And then I just decided, well, I had to do some work um, because I was at work (coughs) and decided to just come back. So about an hour later, it was about 11.30, 11.45, I could actually see that the, the app had recognized that the process had been completed but it was not showing any tokens in the app. So I, there's another area. You, you go to a different area of the app's called Assets, and that's where you can actually see where your, your assets live. And the three assets that are currently preloaded into the app are VET, VTHO, and OCE. And here we go. Here's a screenshot of that area. So again, you click on Assets, which I believe is this button, and then you can see um, your tokens, if they're in there or not, and obviously mine were showing as zero. All right, so... I started checking about once every hour, waiting for the process to, to be completed. And I didn't realize until I came back and reread this document last night that the, the actual change, the VET tokens, once they've been, once they've hit your wallet, they're actually transferred from or back to your wallet as VE, proper VET tokens. They're done by hand by the VET team. So obviously, they're probably inundated with people who are doing this, and I'm guessing they might have one, maybe two people uh, you know, managing all this. So it was not, I did not see the .01 um, VET token in my wallet until about 10.30 last night, okay? So that was 12 hours. So again, I started it at 10.30, it hit the app at um, 11.30, and then about 10.30 last night, I actually saw the physical .01 vet sitting in the wallet. So it was at that point last night at 10.30 p.m. that I went ahead and transferred the rest. Now, here's where another thing I was confused. I kind of thought that it would just automatically suck everything over. I thought what it was doing was it was going and looking at the wallet, connecting everything, and then it would just go suck all the other tokens back over, but that's not the case at all. You have to actually resend the other 99 or however many tokens. I had 100 VET tokens, so I point, I sent point zero one, and so I had 99.99 left. So at 10.30 last night, I sent the rest, those 99.99 tokens to the app using the same process, and it was at about, what time was it today? It was probably about 12.30 today, so that would have been another well, 24 hours, easy. So it took, took them 24 hours to get the... Um, to get the next batch changed over. Um, but as soon as I got the VET tokens in there, I, n- I realized that I started generating the VTHO tokens. So it's now 6.30. I got it at what, at about 2.30 today, or 12.30 today. So it's been about six hours, and I have generated 1.05 VTHOs from my 10,000 VETs. Now, VTHO is currently trading at 0.004 cents Australian, so it's you know, sweet FA, as they say, not, not very much, not worth a whole lot, but you guys know I love my passive income. So just by getting your tokens into the wallet, you will start generating, um, by doing nothing, just having the tokens in there and staking, you'll start generating these VTHO tokens. I haven't done much homework on the VTHO tokens, but my guess is they're going to be some kind of gas, which is going to be used on the vet chain network. I'm just going to read this section here. So the VeChain Foundation continuously monitors the intermediary address, and every intermediary address is is different. Everyone's unique. Um, Once the ERC-20 VEN, and again, just one more reminder, it's going to be VET that you're sending if they're sitting on um, your MyEther wallet. Once the VET is received in that address, the VeChain Foundation will manually transfer VET at 1 to 100 ratio to the VeChain Thor wallet address you created at the very beginning of this process. Due to security concerns, token swap via the VeChain Thor mobile wallet token swap service will not happen in real time. Instead, it will take 6 to 12 hours marked as processing. So that's what happens when you go click into your reward section and click through um, like you're going to start the swap again, you'll get to that that last um, that last page, I guess, where you can't go any further, and you're just going to see this message marked as processing. That means that the wallet has accepted the original transaction off the blockchain and is waiting for the people to do their hand their hand swap or their hand um, app hand application over into the mobile app. So, uh, 12 hours from the completion of the transfer for your new VET VET tokens to appear in your wallet. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to basically walk you through what my actual experience was doing this myself. 
Um, apologize, I guess, that I didn't do it a little bit sooner. But for those of you who are coming across this or have just learned about this yourself, hopefully this will be a little bit of a guide for you and will take away some of the concerns and some of the worries that I had when I was going through it because I didn't have anyone walking, walking, holding my hand as I went through it. I just jumped in and, and did it. I did get a bunch of messages from people who successfully did this themselves. So they were thanking me for doing the first video. So again, hopefully this is, this will be a help for someone who's not quite sure about what's going on or if they're, they started the process and got confused or if they're just wondering what the hell's going on. But again, I wouldn't wait very long to do this. I don't know when the deadline is, when this ends, your ability, when the, the ability to change them over. But there was enough confusion in the process for me that I thought this video might help some of you. All right, guys. So that's it. Crypto Kurt out.